Okay, Ashley, thank you so much for reaching out to me for your new moon spread. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm happy to be able to do video readings now that I feel a lot better. Uh, so I'm excited about um, this new spread that I made. I read it for a few people last night, um, and I really like making my own spreads now. I've been doing tarot for four years, and this is the first time uh, the past few months, the first times that I've done this to the public, done to other people besides me and my friends. So thank you very much. Um, I am definitely resonating this new moon with pink selenite. They sell it at Oracle. I can send you a link if you're interested. Um, Oracle KC or Oracle Kansas City, Oracle KC on Instagram. Uh, you can find selenite anywhere at any like gym's shop um, or place that sells stuff like that, and it's a great stone to have, especially clearing or fields, being able to, um, you know, it's self-cleansing, it can cleanse other crystals, you don't ever have to cleanse it, it's a very good thing to have around, especially uh, when you're around a lot of people. Um, anyway, the pink one's very much more like, or the, it's peach, and it's very much more um, like rose quartz too, but it still feels like selenite. Anyway, this new moon, I'm definitely telling a lot of people how amazing peach Selena is, and if you're interested, I'll send you a link. Oh, it looks good right there. I'll just leave it right there. All right, so let's go to your reading. So I made this five card reading. I was really inspired by the new moon about how it's all about planting seeds, finding your inspiration, your motivation, and the sustenance that it takes to grow something. Really planning for this beautiful summer time ahead. What are we gonna grow? What are we gonna do with this light? What are we gonna do with this energy? So for inspiration, I wrote, what inspires you at this time? Where do you draw your inspiration? And I pulled for you the Magician card. The Magician is the first card in the tarot deck. He comes after the Fool, and he is the first person that the Fool interacts with on his journey to the end of the deck, which is the world. There's 22 cards and a major arcana. The Magician presents to him all of these tools that he has at his disposal. He has the coins, he has the cups, he has the swords, and he has a wand in his hand. He is showing you that he is... Um, a master and is continuing to master his craft. He has shown you how to uh, learn to use these tools you have at your disposal and how to become a master of these tools. Uh, so becoming inspired by this card is saying, really realizing you can learn anything that you want to learn. It doesn't have to be necessarily even in the field that you're in. You know, we can all learn coding, we can all learn design, we can all learn uh, painting, drawing, it all ties to one another, music. Uh, this is a limitless pl limitless potential of creative uh, manifestation, it's just about what do you want to make? What do you want to do? What do you want to create? So being inspired that you can learn anything you want to do uh, and saying to yourself, okay, what is something that I wanted to learn to do and incorporate into my life? And I'm going to make a decision to start that and really pursue it and add that to my um, hobbies of things that make me happy and maybe even turn it into a profitable business or incorporate it into my business or incorporate it into my uh, daily life, health routine, etc. The second card is motivation. What motivates you in action? How can you increase your motivation and utilize your inspiration? Um, you got the three of swords in this, uh... <laughs> sorry, someone just walked behind me. Uh, you got the three of swords. Uh, swords is the suit of thoughts, words, and action represented by the element of air. And swords are creative, but in the kind of written way or the verbal way or the story, you know, telling a story. And three is a very creative card. It is the created, creation, the project, something that you create, uh, the creative baby in a sense. With this as your motivation card, it seems like you're motivated to build something or maybe start something new or expand upon something that you've already already utilized but maybe something that you know you can push further or definitely something written. This is either indicating writing more or writing your ideas down more, keeping a journal, really uh, connecting with your higher self and writing down these ideas that you have and these flashes of uh, brilliance and how you can incorporate that, uh, be continue continue to motivate yourself from that inspiration and really bring that into action. Not just dreaming about it, but making it into reality. And with enough time and perseverance, you really can do anything that you want. So what are you setting your sights to? What plan are you making? Make that plan. Start start thinking about the details of how you could make this work. Uh, your timeline, your 
business plan, whatever your marketing strategy, whatever it is that you're wanting to do, um, write it out, edit, and publish it, get it out there. For your sustenance card, this is like the soil, like what's sustaining us? What are the nutrients that we're pulling into our self, our self plants that we are growing, our consciously evolving self? What is sustaining us and nourishing us? And you got the um, hermit card. The hermit is the number nine. Nine is a universal number. It is uh, in numerology, the card of universal love. And yeah, it, uh, it's a great card. But he's all, <laughs> I'm just, a lot of messages are coming through on this. The sun shines so bright and it feels so good. I'm so happy that the weather is warm again and sunshine is here. I am ready to grow and expand. The hermit uh, lives in isolation. He is in the mountaintops, in the woods, off in nature, alone in solitude, speaking to nature, becoming one with nature, connecting with the divine through nature, through also solitude so definitely go out in nature more experiencing nature more but also giving yourself more solitude time more time to yourself more time that you're dedicated to yourself um, even just 30 minutes a day or if you could get an hour a week putting in headphones or meditating or listening to guided meditation and finding your spiritual center in which you're quiet your mind's calm and you're hearing those messages clearly and you're really connecting with your spiritual center because we can feed our bodies for physical nu nutrients but we need sustenance to sustain ourselves uh, and really touching root with our core being of who we are and what our mission is here and how nature can kind of speak to us how our guides can speak to us but we have to find that calm quiet solitude in order to hear the whispers sometimes of what they have to say. Let's see. So, number four, we have goals and ambitions. So on the right side, it's more of an overarching thing, whereas before it was kind of, you know, aspects of our current life. Uh, with our goals and ambitions, these are kind of further reaching. What, are, what goals and ambitions do you have? And you have the six of coins. Six is a very sensual number, um, sensuality, but also the family, intimate relationships with others, harmony, harmony harmonious relationships. Uh, so I definitely see the fact that you are expanding what you are doing um, and that, oh, the bird sounds so beautiful, that your business which is represented by the materialism of the coins the material wealth uh, but also earth it's like what you're bringing to the table is a refreshing harmonious uh, relationship that people really appreciate in any business or any creative thing having that harmonious uh, being able to be harmonious with others deal with difficult people with um, I definitely could learn that, dealing with typical people with grace and humility and just uh, knowing your boundaries, speaking up for yourself and being powerful in yourself. Uh, I'm kind of going off on a tangent here, but this card's just saying your goals and ambitions really are to maximize uh, your network, maximize what you can do for others, what you're expanding into. You have an amazing network. You've developed um, relationships with people because you're honest and genuine, and people sense that harm harmony. Your clients and your colleagues, and even just people that you know, um, and social media, etc. So, reaching out to that net. If if you have this idea of something you want to do, reach out into that network. Start tapping that network. Network. Uh, really selling yourself. You know, um, not like prostitution, but you know, selling your skills and goals. I mean, selling your skills as part of your goals uh, to the highest maximum possibility that you can, like really maximize what you can do for your uh, career and for yourself and for your life. And it's not always commercially driven. I think just to like, what good do we want to do for people? What good do we want to bring to the world? How does that tie in with what we're, what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis? Um, I definitely want to consider that more in my life as well, because that really 
brings us that sustenance, like I said, to um, really what we're doing it all for. Why, what at the root of it, you know, we want to be successful, but also we want to change the world. A lot of us light workers want to bring beauty and joy to the world through our art, um, one person at a time, or, you know. Anyway, that was a tangent. Uh, sorry, sometimes I go off. I hope you like these video messages. If not, too, I can also do written ones uh, that are more succinct. So uh, this is something that um, I love feedback on, so just let me know. Okay, so this is a more heavy card. This is a message of clarity. What messages do your guides have? How may we clarify the path ahead of us? And we got the um, tower card, which sometimes seems cataclysmic and negative, but really I think there's positive in all the cards. And uh, this, I really like the positive aspect of really smashing the patriarchy. Um, it's from the top down. It's really smashing those hierarchies that are in place. I think the internet's really broken, uh, open up, opened up a whole new level of networking, marketing, reach, voice. Uh, it's no longer controlled by just the white men. It's controlled by all of us, and we all have a voice, and we all have a powerful way to speak. And those structures are being demolished and you've probably experienced um, sexism or uh, just experienced negative people or experienced um, you know situations where you feel like the system is place is rigged against us but all those things are being torn down so it's really good to utilize that ability to know that you're building up everything you're building up yourself uh, anything that bad that has happened and sometimes you're asking like, why me? Why is this happening to me? Know that your guides are there helping you along the way. And yeah, basically your guides are helping you along the way and they are um, there for you. And even though negative things are have happened or will happen as they always do that we always have the highest path of good and evolution from those and uh, to seek their guidance and they're there to help you they're there to shed light on situations and they're to shed light on past situation and past situations and coming into clarity and understanding of what they have to say to us of what this all means in our grand journey of evolution in this lifetime as in past lifetimes, as in future lifetimes, as in the evolution of life, it never ends. We're always evolving, expanding, you know, building. So even though the tower may fall, you have the option to build it and build it new and build it better. Um, it doesn't always have to be taller. That's a very like male thing, trying to build the tallest building. When really it doesn't, you know, doesn't matter. What matters is the connections with one another and uh, what, yeah, like I said before, what we have to offer the world. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Um, thank you so much for reaching out to me uh, and so nice to meet you several years ago. It's so funny how time flies and how the internet connects us. And so thank you for um, supporting my work and what I'm doing because I definitely appreciate being able to share this gift with other people now that I have feel like I've developed it um, in a way that has been helpful for me. So hopefully you find help from this. Please let me know if you do. Please let me know if you have any more questions um, or if you want to learn any more about tarot. I'm going to be making more videos too about stuff like Mercury Retrograde and astrology and other things like that. So if there's something that particularly interests you, let me know um, because I definitely take guidance from other people on what they want to know. Uh, for what I'm going to start making videos of and I hope that you liked this. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hope you have a great new moon. Plant the seeds of intention and let me know if you want peach selenite. I will get you the link and uh, give me that feedback. All right, have a good one. Thank you.